Hey guys, it's Orange Tyson back again with another uh, video today. This time we're doing the top 10 Marvel Legends of 2023. Uh, this year was really good for Legends in my opinion. Uh, Marvel Legends is probably the main thing I collect. So this is a very, you know, one of my favorite uh, series to collect. Uh, I love Marvel, love everything about Marvel. We'll always keep collecting. We had some downsides, but we had a lot of upsides in my opinion. But um, these are my runner ups. So I always have uh, my 10 runner ups and then I actually go with my actual, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick right now. So that's why I haven't made these videos, but these are my runner up video, uh, yeah, runner up legends. We got Power Man, Luke Cage, uh, Iron Man, I forget what uh, Iron Man that's called. Tobey Maguire, uh, Spider-Man, Blade, we got that new Cyclops, uh, what was his, uh, in, uh, not Invincible, but like, Astronomy, Astronomy, I can't say it right, but Ant-Man, <coughs> MCU King the Conqueror, Bucky Cap, Spider-Punk, and Black Widow, the new Black Widow from Target Exclusive. I know a lot of people are probably going to call me crazy for not being out on my list, but I just liked a couple other legends more. But anyways, here are to the runner-ups. Let's get into uh, number 10. At number 10, we got the brand new Vision. Uh, this guy just made it in. I got him in probably a week ago. And honestly, I think this is one of the best Visions that we got. Uh, really nice Vision. Really love the paint. Love the body. Everything about this figure I love. He just made it in. I think he beat Blade. I just it was really hard. I was like, it was either Vision or Blade. But I like Vision more, so and I love that head sculpt. That's that's what it, what it did for me. It's that head sculpt right there. But at number 10, Vision. At number nine, we got the blob. Uh great X-Men villain. Great figure that we got this year. Uh yeah, I, I like this figure. Uh, the only time to get him in the past was when he was a build a figure. Really glad that Hasbro made a um, deluxe figure of this guy. Really big, really nice. Uh, really looks like in the comics. So it's really cool. And yeah, for uh, number nine, Blob. At number eight, we got the Hawkeye that came with the, uh, I think it was what, the speeder bike? Or the Avengers bike. I forget what it's called. But <coughs> this is a great figure. Like the cloth good stuff that he got. Love the colors. How they pop. We've been really needing a good classic Hawkeye. I'm finally glad that we finally got him. I really like this figure. Uh, it would probably be up a little higher. But I had a little um, problems with it. But overall still a great figure. Glad to have him. So at number 8 Hawkeye. At number seven, we got Final Swing Spider-Man, Tom Holland, MCU. This figure is really nice. Love the colors. Looks like a really good classic Spider-Man. Can work with your MCU or will work with your MCU, but can also work for your comic shelf. Really like this figure. Really like how it pop. Really good figure. It's really nice. And um, I think it's one of those figures that surprised me this year. So at number uh, seven, Final Swing Spider-Man. At number six, we got another Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. I think out of all the MCU Spider-Mans or live action Spider-Mans, this Spider-Man was uh, probably the best one that they did, Hasbro did in my opinion, proportion wise and the colors. I love the darker suits on Andrew and I love the details with the web shooters being right there. And like, I just love how the suit looked. It looks really good. Uh, Final Swing was really good and Tobias was good. <clears throat> but this one was the was the uh, you know the best in my opinion and i think on the face too uh if you have the uh you know the one where he comes with the extra head of andrew garfield's head it really looks like andrew garfield so i think in my opinion uh this one is a little bit better than the other spider-man and uh, i just i really like this spider-man a lot and i'm glad to have it uh but at number six amazing spider-man at our final five, uh, number five, the Destroyer that came with the two-pack of Thor. Uh, this Destroyer is amazing. Uh, love the metal on it. Love how it looks uh, metallic. Uh, really nice. Love all the spikes. 
looks really good. My opinion was probably the best uh, two pack that we got this year was the Destroyer, in my opinion, the Thor and Destroyer. Uh, really glad that we got this pack, and um, I'm. Uh, I was really good. I really liked it. So at number five, the Destroyer. At number four, we got the Model One Iron Man. This guy was one of my favorite uh, Iron Man figures that we got this year. Uh, I will be honest, if he had a uh, removable mask or a different head where the mask was up, to have a Tony Stark head, this guy probably would have went up a little bit higher. But as it is, this is a great Iron Man. Uh, I've been wanting this suit for a long time. Hasbro delivered on it, and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, at number four, Model 1 Iron Man. At number three, we got the pretty boy. Uh, he gave him a five pack this year for Amazon. And honestly, this guy kept going back and forth. I had him on my top 10 as number one. <coughs> I had him on like off my list. And you know what? I was going through my list one more time before I did this video. And I said, you know what? Pretty boy deserves so much more love because I love this unique body. I don't know if we've got this body before. I could be wrong. But oh my goodness, I think out of that pack, I know a lot of people on the, I think his name was S S Swife or Life. I'm I'm so lost on my names right now. I, I'm so sick. But um, Pretty Boy <laughs> deserves so much love. And I I really like this legend a lot. <clears throat> Sorry again for the coughing, guys. I'm just, I'm getting over a uh, really bad sickness right now. But yeah, at... I feel like Pretty Boy deserves a spot at number three. He's been a fun legend in my opinion, and I, I'm glad I put him back in. So at number three, Pretty Boy. At number two, we got the L.A. Comic Con set with Bob Deadpool. Um, this 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 was number one for a while, but there's something that beat it by a little bit. But this Deadpool is amazing. It's probably the best Deadpool that they've done. <coughs> in my opinion this one had it all came with all the weapons all the accessories bob was really nice it's on that new renew your vows body this deadpool looks amazing he kind of looks like the first appearance deadpool to me i know it's not but man this deadpool is really nice and uh you know to spice it up i gave him the mezco deadpool swords so yeah this guy is amazing if you haven't got this guy go go pick him up he, he's amazing but at number two, we got the Comic-Con set Deadpool. And finally, at number one, we have the Deluxe Green Goblin. Oh my gosh, this figure was so, so amazing this year. Uh, I'm so glad we got a Willem Dafoe. And you know, I love this figure so much. I bought two of them. I have one on the shelf that's with the full mask and everything. I took off all the gear to make it like he was in the first movie, in Spider-Man 1. And then I have this one. <clears throat> I've always been a big fan of Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. I thought he was amazing. I grew up on these movies. Maybe it's a uh, nostalgic. Maybe it's uh, you know going into my childhood, growing up with the Spider-Man movies. But yes, number one. This is my number one legend of the year. Nothing can change that. I was so happy about this figure when it came out and when it was announced. I can't wait for uh, Hasbro to do the rest of the Sinister Six, if you want to call them that. But yes, at number one, Deluxe Screen Goblin from No Way Home is my number one legend of the year. There you have it, my top 10 uh, Marvel Legends of the year. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my top 10. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who would you rather put in? Did you like my honorable mentions more or did you like my list? <coughs> if anything, this is my opinion. These are my top 10s of this year. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned for my top 10 action figures of the year. That's going to be coming out real soon before the end of the year.